there. Well, as you can see, we are back in the field, ready to make more photographs. And we're on the side of Highway 27 between the town I live in and Lexington. Not a slow road. There's still plenty of traffic and it's almost nine o'clock at night. Uh, we're gonna do this as safely as we can. Um, I have left my safety cones at home, unfortunately. Always make yourself a checklist. But we are taking a photograph of a lot where a house used to stand. There's a farmhouse that uh, was destroyed, I believe, by the county a couple years ago. The idea was they were going to make this into a uh, bypass around the eastern side of this town. They've been talking about that for years, uh, decades, I should say, and nothing's ever happened. So, I thought this would be a good opportunity to make a good photograph of it. In the midst of evening weekend traffic, which clearly is not going to stop no matter what we do. We've got the sun setting behind us, so we're gonna take a shot from here with the setting sun, and then we'll probably go into the lot where the house stood and photograph the farm uh, vacant property behind it. Um, so what I've got is a small little ramp off the main road. That was the driveway for that house. And that is going to be the center of my frame. Got some loud motorcycles through here. And in this frame, I've got some power lines. I've got some old trees. And it may be hard to see in the video camera, but there's also a former basketball hoop uh, where the house stood as part of uh, the driveway or backyard. And we're going to include some of that as well. And everybody wants to show off for a camera. So we've got all the, <laughs> all the, the motorcycles out trying to make as much noise as they can. And right now I'm just trying to get my focus. There's actually plenty of light here to do this with the ground glass. Um, the dark cloth off, which I feel a little safer being on the side of the road. Not necessarily for the cars, but for uh, curious people who might want to pass by and take a closer look. Okay, we're gonna need to apply some tilt for the pavement. So we're going to tilt this a little bit. And see if we can get this road in better focus. All right, there's the bottom frame. Top of the frame's out. 
So we need to extend. Refocus. Refocus. Now there we go. It might actually be it right there. I've got the trees in the background in focus. I've got the pavement in focus. And then we'll nail the rest of it down. I was checking, I don't have any accidental swing. We'll get the rest of it here with some uh, stop down. Checking the edges. Got the trees in. Got it. Okay, I think we're good on this shot. So while we still have some daylight shining on this driveway, we're going to take shot number one. So let's close our lens and stop to 22. All right, let's meet her. Get a film holder in there. All right, we'll pull that dark slide out once I know I've got the shot ready to go. Let's, uh, meter here. I'm going to meter in the shade. Some of you have asked why I don't spot meter. The color, I don't find it all that particularly useful. All right, I'm getting F22 at half a second. So that's what we're going to do here. We're ready. So we're gonna pull the dark slide and then we're gonna wait for a pause in traffic so we don't have any sort of uh, cars going through the shot. And of course we only need half a second so that won't take long. We've got a good pause up here. All right. Now, unfortunately, I lost the light right on that driveway entrance. I was trying to get it before the light failed us, and it shifted just to the side of it in those last few seconds. So unfortunately, I didn't get the light lined up exactly the way that I wanted, but it's still pretty good. It's still a shot that I like. And that's what happens with changing light. You wait too long, you can lose it pretty quick. All right, we're gonna pack this up and get off this road and get onto that property over there and see what we can get. So we ended up not going on that lot. We are instead across the street from the lot, but now a side street. We're a lot closer and we're at ground level. It's quieter too. We don't have all that traffic noise. Let's get us in focus, because our light is failing fast. All right, we're going to use some swing here. Can already tell. And some tilt on the back. What we're looking at is the farm behind where we just were. Just getting my focus here. I'm tilting the camera back to get my near and far. And because it's base tilt, it's just a lot of back and forth. Of tilt, focus, tilt, focus. Okay, so we've got that. We've got our camera mostly level. Let's get that fully level. And now we're gonna get our side to side. We're gonna do that with some front swing. Okay, so we've got our focus. We're gonna double check with our stop down 
or we're going to ensure that with our stop down. But we've got um, the plane of trees and field moving away from us as it goes from right to left. We have the ground, foreground of trees, front to back. So front to back, I've tilted the camera back. And then the side to side, I've swung the lens a little bit. We still have a little bit of daylight. Hey, we got deer. It's 9.03. That's sunset, I believe, is like 9.06. So we're just a couple minutes before. We'll go ahead and meter. We got some nice uh, purple sky here behind the camera or behind the trees. Um, we've got uh, nice cool light. Everything's in the evening glow. So let's grab the film holder, put it in there, and meter. Okay. We got that. Let's close our shutter. And we'll meter. All right, I'm at 22 and two thirds at two seconds. So we'll give it like, we'll leave it at 22. We're not gonna stop at the two thirds and we'll give it the two seconds. That should avoid any reciprocity issues. So let's put that on bulb, do a test. Okay, all right. At this point, I'm going to go ahead and put a timer or a stopwatch, whatever, on my phone. Go ahead and get that started. One, two, okay. And that's our shot. So that should continue our uh, body of work here of the changing agricultural uh, personality, identity of Central Kentucky. Um, this particular field, I don't know if, I wanna say it was probably farming. Um, and not horses. Horses is a big agriculture here, as well as cattle. The reason why I say that, they tore down a house, but they didn't necessarily tear down a barn. There was, uh, there was a barn, but it was definitely not a horse barn. Horse barns are very particular around here. You, you can definitely tell when they have horse stalls. And I don't recall ever seeing cattle around here. So they grew something. I do recall that. This is a road I didn't really travel on a lot. So we're going to continue with this. We're going to see, we're not going to focus just on old tobacco farms. Uh, I like the idea of some of the horse farms too that are no longer in business and running horses, cattle, or anything like that. So we're going to continue looking for new places. I'm starting with the places I know, the places I've seen for the last 30 years and know that have changed. Uh, we're going to get this one developed. We will take a look at the shot. Hopefully you like these two shots. We'll continue on and go from there. So thanks for joining us again, and we'll see you next time.